Hey, what's up? Jeremy with Hard to Master, and we're going to be unboxing Nucleum, as you can see. Just tearing the shrink wrap off of this bad boy. Just got it in from Board and Dice. So let's open up. Been excited for this ever since I saw it at Gen Con. So here we go. And you'll see that we have the rule book. And there's another rule book, which I'm guessing is probably going to be solo. Looks like I'm going to be putting some power plant standees together. Just a quick flip through so you can see what the page is. And uh, you're going to have some different images that can help maybe see some things. Then you have your appendix of the different uh, cards and tiles and things that are going to tell you how to read it. And then uh, reference it as you're playing. So then you have your back with your key on it. You also have challenges. So you can see what challenges... Uh, you may be able to complete as you play. If you want, you can check the box. I don't always do that, but it is available. And then you do have your, you know, your solo rule book that we'll just do a quick flip through. I don't know if I'll play this one solo. Y'all know I like, you know, short solo games and long multiplayer games. So uh, plenty of extra bags that you can use to separate things. I like to do player color even more. So I'll probably be separating everything. We do have some different rectangular cubes here. Also going to have plenty of workers, it looks like. Little workers with, you know, engineering hats or whatever. Then we have more player colored bits here. We also have the power plant nucleum pieces here that if you pre-ordered, you got some nice acrylic ones, but these are gonna be the wooden ones that you have here. Uh, maybe reputation stars or something. I don't remember everything because there was a lot of information that we were given about Nucleum while we were at Gen Con. And so we got some little green cubes and some red flag markers and then probably score markers there. I do have cards and these look like, without sleeving it, looks like a standard poker sleeve card. So let's get these out, let you look at them. But if I was to guess, I would say standard card size. There's the back of these, they have that gear look to them. So some different cards, maybe starting or solo or objective cards. Um, so yeah, different cards in the game. Do have your big cards that you're gonna reference throughout the game, which can help maybe guide you along as you go. You got one die, which looks to be filled with ones, twos, threes, and one four. So it is a D6, but it doesn't go all the way to six. Here's some different things we're possibly maybe put together. I see an A side. Maybe an insert. It's all white, so I'm guessing this has to do with maybe some type of insert the source stuff, which we'll look at uh, later. And I'll post some pictures so you can see. Do have the sideboard here, which I don't know if it will fit on frame. But we got the sideboard. And then we're gonna have the full board, which has that train kind of look to it. A lot of people reference this game to like a brass meets barrage. I've heard it's more brass than barrage. Um, I've not played Barrage, unfortunately. I want to. Um, I've never been able to play it yet, so maybe I will. But knowing this was coming, I was more excited to play Nucleum than Brass or Barrage again. I have played Lancashire, and I've also played Birmingham. So then you have your player boards that are dual-layer player boards. So you'll be, you know, setting things in here. We saw those turbine uh, pieces and then some buildings then we have these tracks up on the top. As far as difference, um, not seeing anything just blatantly in front of me that's different. As far as the back, looks the same on the back too. So I guess any color can go with any one of these because I'm not seeing anything different off the just a first glance. And then we've got a bunch of punch board here that we're gonna dump out and see. You'll see that there are the buildings as well as different punch board tokens for the uh, 
different power plants that we're going to be putting together. So we've got all the buildings for each player. Then we've got these markers here. And those go on your board as well. We saw on the right side of the board in that dual layer. Now here are some punch board coins. I actually have some atomic age coins that should work for this. So I'm going to be using them when I play this. And so they'll be in the photos, but no, you're going to get punch board coins um, when you open this box. Um, then we have these. These go on the side of, of one of the boards and allows you to kind of activate actions, I believe. And we got the five punch board coins. More of those, C's and D's. And then we have the standees that we're gonna be punching together for the power plants. And if you can beat 100 points, there's 100 and even 200 for over 200. So there we go. And the back of the box, last thing. And this has been an unboxing for Nucleum. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm excited to play this game. I know many of you are excited for it to hit retail so you can get a copy, but Till next time, I'm Jeremy with Hard to Master. Thanks, Board and Dice, for sending us a copy to cover. And till next time, we'll see ya.